Alright, welcome back to CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. I got something a little bit different today. I got a couple winches we're going to take the Pennsylvania and the excavator. You guys have probably guessed who it is by the thumbnail image. Were you driving this forklift too fast? Are you picking a metal shaving, metal shaving out, out of your area diesel service gloves? Boom! Anyway, so you guys seen Matt from Diesel Creek bought an excavator off of us. We're going to an auction in Pennsylvania, but on the way we're going to stop and see him. Get this stuff loaded up, we'll get the excavator loaded up, and uh, see how she goes here. I'm going to get over as tight as we can. Get these pallets touching here. I'm pretty sure by uh, law they have to be touching. Makes it a lot safer because not they'll walk together. That's good. Kind of drive in that way if you can. That'll work. Set her down. Perfect. There, see? Are you watching a strap on your side? Uh, yeah. It's looking good. Uh, hang on a second. You got your... We're pinching a cable, or a cylinder there. You're rocking them on that thing. You want to go get a block of wood? Cut it in two. Okay. Is it tight? Big digger Mason! Look at him. Nothing but smiles. You look good. You look good on that. You should buy it. Hey, if you do a good job, this won't be like one of them videos. Quit bullying, Mason. It'll be like one of them
right, Dan? Alright, now swing around. I right, put him back here. Hey, you know what the pro tip of the day is? Don't watch Mason. Don't. <laughs> Don't watch I'm gonna blame it on you, Mason. Rock. I'm trying to show you how to drive an excavator. Yeah, yeah, Mason. We forgot get to get our so chains out. Boomers you had it all perfect, too. Pro tip of the day is to get your chains out before you cover it up the excavator. It ain't. All right, we got our winches on. We got our four points on the X for anything over 10,000 pounds has to have four points. Then you have to tie anything like a blade down and the bucket separately. So that thing ain't going nowhere. Um, I gotta tie my spare tire down. Kevin's gonna get a couple CNC equipment stickers and stick on that. Then I'm gonna head out early in the morning. I think Dad's going with me. And uh, we'll probably see you guys at uh, Diesel Creek here in a few minutes. Well, we made it here. Dad's unloading the excavator. Pick your blade up. Go! Go!
<laughs> All kinds of cool stuff around here. Hey, you know that's a real convenient place to park at a little tractor, you know yeah, that, right? Yeah, I rolled it off the trailer last night, but I get that in the morning and then I forgot about it until you were pulled in. Would have been nice to go over there. Would have been a little nicer. <laughs> Last time we here, this thing was apart in pieces. Had stuck valves and everything on it, didn't it? Stuck valves, stuck number three cylinder. It was rusted okay. pretty good. It's been sitting I'm, for probably 20 years. I'm surprised you actually got it running. I seen it took it apart. I said, have a little faith, <laughs> it'll come around. Now, is this the way you roll your roads down here? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get that thing running. I think the valves are rusted in that too. I got to pull the head. What kind of motor's in it? It's a little Continental six cylinder. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Buffalo it, Springfield. It, it, it spins like it over pretty quick. When you, when you That's a local it, company. It looks like engine. a Jeep engine. Old six cylinder Tornado, about the same thing. Tornado, I guess I'm what sure they call it. Is that like a 226 cubic inch? I really couldn't see. I don't know much about it. Them. It looks like in flathead Jeep truck motors. Yeah, look, you know, looks like I know what you're talking about. Of course, they call it a damn off Continental in the van, but they call them. Was it a hurricane or a tornado? Which one was that? The hurricane's a four banger. Tornado. Okay. tornado no, the tornado was a 230 overhead cam. Well, what was, what was they called though? Was it Super Hurricane? I can't remember. But you know, they made the flathead four cylinder and then they come out with the 134 and then come out with 226 flathead. <laughs> yeah. Y'all have any bad setup? No, it, it's a shame. There's, there's a couple companies that make similar. That's what you need for a wash bay. Keep Randy out of the sun. Good. Yeah. With the sides up a little more for air on the side. So you just drove this dude home, huh? Yeah, about seven, eight miles. You're like, like me when you see something close and cheap at the auction, you gotta come home with it. Why not? You I can't know, lose right? on it. <laughs> no. You drove it here. Sure, I'm good. So you I, got I haven't even started the upper yet. I've DT four sixty six lower, you said? Yeah. Of course it runs.
What's the back hole down? They even put the uh, auction paint job on it for you too. Well, you the, like if that? you look like there's rust coming out of stuff. Oh they yeah. They painted it a few years ago and just let it sit. They never put anything back well, on. We either. still got painters tape up oh, here yeah, too. Oh yeah, I was peeling off the headlight bezels, all the trims, see missing, it. all the little markers are all gone. Hey, we've, we've had Brent going to the auction before. I've <laughs> had to take the tape off them at Richie Brothers. I sold some stuff one time. I had to peel the tape off them the morning of the sale. Yeah. $3,500 This looks all too familiar right here. Yeah, no. Somebody's uh, took the uh, cargo bed off and made him a semi truck, <laughs> didn't they? Yeah. Did you drive this one home too? No, I can't get the run. The electric pump kicks on, but it won't put fuel up to the filters. It did run when they brought it into the mm. auction. It went through three sales. I bet you've got some experience with it now. A little bit. <laughs> That's a longer stream right Air shift there. transfer case. They got a turbo on it. Yeah. Yeah. You even got a heater. You'd be able to identify the turbo better than I can. Or that's this Whistler or not? I don't think it's a Whistler. The the C's that Whistler. say Schweitzer on them. It's oh, you even got this super sweet snorkel too. Oh, that PVC. That's Schedule 40, bud. You know, we actually sell a snorkel kit for them. Oh, you sell the snorkel kit? Yeah, that's a Type D. It's not the Whistler. It's Bummer. got more, more power, but... Down. <laughs> it's... Likes this. No, yep. I, I like these air pipes, the PPC Schedule 40 with a yeah, we actually four sell, six adapter. We actually That's sell a nice. metal pipe that yeah. goes up here. Yeah, they that, took your winch. Yeah, I got a winch to fit in there too for you. I thought I saw one laying around at your place. I was like, <laughs> I don't know. Got wobble six. That one hits had banjo. This you know, was the first it. series that had the wobble six. Yeah. So. But the, everybody can talk about the hose on these. They said they, they're terrible. I'm not a backup guy to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like you need to invest in the hydraulic yeah. shop. Yeah. yeah, it needs to just get parked at a hydraulic shop and come back when it's done. I like the water car back there. My radiator even looks familiar. Yeah, it's only been sitting here for a few months. <laughs> so he got it running right, got the pump timed. Yeah, he fired up for a second. He still seems like you got to give it some juice to get the pump out first. But was, it goes, it's good. Pump was out of time. Is the fuel density compensator still up? No, up? yeah, I still got to bypass that. I got all parts to do that. I'm going to do, do that later tonight. But it wouldn't start up like that before, would oh, it? Oh, no, absolutely Yeah. Not. You had to give it a good whiff of ether to make it even think about starting before. Yeah, it's the only mo motor I know of that will run out, run out of time. It was time to what, number six cylinder? Yep. Little so starts are not right. happy. Well, we got you a new excavator. New baby. New baby. You gonna replace the old one here? Yeah. That's the plan. Old Betsy's going down the road, I think. Yeah, that ought to be a nice machine for sure. So I'm excited about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, appreciate, it. appreciate you showing us around, looking at all the stuff, and it's a little drier than it was last time we yeah, were here. Yeah, it's so. a lot drier than it was last time. It was an absolute disaster last time you were here. You got plenty of cool stuff coming too. So. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stuff coming. I gotta find the time to work on it and edit the videos. Well, we're gonna head on down south to another auction here in Pennsylvania, and we'll see what we get into.
made it back from Pennsylvania, you guys probably can't see, but it is pretty dark out. I'm gonna put this tail down in hopes that the guys might unload this tomorrow for me. Then uh, we're gonna get up early, head to another auction here, not too far from the shop. Maybe we'll get a little bit of footage tomorrow for you guys on that. So we'll see you back in the morning. John Deere Baco. Says it runs. So yesterday we were at a construction auction. Today we're at more of a farm auction as you guys can tell. In Monrovia, Indiana. Like somebody got new fuel filters. Huh? We bought a golf cart to drive around. I was worried about you getting your butt wet. You got a seatbelt work. 
got the right number. It's got my bidding number on it. That's it. We're gonna go golfing now. Alright. She's cold. No windshield. Never. Park a golf cart. <laughs> you ain't jetting it that far. <laughs> there ain't a cup in there. You want to get out and I'll park it over here? Where are you going to park it? I had to park a golf cart. I don't have much gas in it, so that plan didn't work. Yeah, very 46. 
Sir Wagon Boys. There's one of a kind. Front there, seven dollar, right there. Twenty thousand dollars, three pounds, mother. There's one of a kind. Five hundred cents a day. I got another here because I'm a hundred thousand dollars. I got another hundred thousand dollars because I'm a hundred thousand dollars. I got another 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 hundred thousand d
Well, that's going to be a wrap on this one. I got two trucks. This video started out on a Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. Headed out to Pennsylvania. Dropped that uh, excavator off with Matt from Diesel Creek. Hung out with him for a little bit. And then we uh, shot down to southwestern Pennsylvania. Went to that auction down there. I bought, uh, oh, I think I bought six dozers. Put some pictures up here. I bought a big Case 350 excavator. Bought two Dodge trucks. Um, first gen Cummins, pretty clean truck. So, and I bought some random crane truck that I never even looked at. <laughs> it was just cheap. And uh, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought another uh, 650J. I bought three of these 450Ks, and I bought a 650J with the winch. I'll throw a picture up here. But uh, yeah, a lot of stuff in today. Bought this tractor. Bought a golf cart and a T770 Bobcat. So, uh, tractor's a little bit of a project. You guys probably seen the buckets dragging the ground come in on that uh, wheel loader with the chain hooked to it. That's got some issues going on there. So, maybe a video on this thing. You guys want to see a video on a tractor? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with those Dodge trucks. Probably going to put them up for sale. But, uh, if you guys want to see something done with them, let me know. I have no idea what we're going to do. So, as always, it's been a crazy two or three days here, so. But uh, you guys want to see any of that cool stuff? Want to buy any Dodge trucks or dozers? Get with Jay. All right. Tell him it's been a whirlwind tour the last three days. I don't even know what all you bought. I don't even know what all I bought. <laughs> oh, I bought one more dozer on the road last night too. At the, no, I bought a 650G. I forgot about it. I can't remember. I got three of these. 650J, 350 case. Two Dodge trucks, a Sweet. random crane truck I bought. 350 case? Yeah, big one. Awesome. 80,000 pounds. So. That's what we need. People looking for that. I got a T770 Bobcat. This is a project. Tractor project? I, I just like Ford tractors. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you guys like this video. A little bit different. A little bit of farm footage here. Didn't have enough time to show you guys uh, videos of the equipment auction in Pennsylvania. So, always busy there. So, But, uh, yeah. Drop your comments below if you want to see a blue tractor worked on. We appreciate everybody watching. We'll catch you next time. You guys are also wondering why I bought a golf cart. Make sure you stay tuned. We may have a pretty cool golf cart build. If that's something you guys want to see, definitely let me know in the description down below. Because do you have some plans for that one? You missed a whole lot of fun. You know that, right? Did I? It's a nice shirt you got there. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> is, that, got it is that what we want at the expo show? <laughs> <laughs> you had to go through the booth and fill out all the cards. Yeah, we didn't fill it out though. No, we didn't. Yeah, I got all these, you know, YouTube projects here. Oh, I see. You like that? You can compete with your neighbor now. Oh, okay. You know, take it home this weekend. Maybe up. <laughs> I'll show them what a property line's like. Mason. No, I know which one it is too. What happened? The question is, can Grave Digger make the freestyle national championship? Oh! Uh-oh, Mason, keep cutting that driver out. Yes. We're ready. Uh, you need to hit it just right over here. There we go. I can't do it. Don't be a what? That's right.